My name is Jenny Bunting and welcome to my crib. Well, it's not really a luxurious crib, it's actually a training camp, okay? Let me show you around my holistic home here in Egypt. Okay, this first of all is the living room. Okay, now these sofas um, may look quite comfortable, but they're actually <laughs> hard as rocks, but they look quite nice and they're very good for your posture though. Um, over here we have my Bible, which is the Eat, Move and Be Healthy book by Paul Czech. Um, my iPod filled with inspirational and meditation tunes and then a deck of cards ready for some evening entertainment. Okay, now we do have a television and satellite in here, um, which obviously is here, um, but I haven't been watching television in my first three days actually and don't really intend to. I think Tarek's been watching a bit of um, music television. Okay, over here we have the fridge with um, some nuts on the top here. Um, these are Egyptian nuts. These are obviously from the UK. They don't really do Waitrose organic in Egypt, I'm afraid. Okay, inside the fridge we have some apples and some cucumber and the only other couple of things I have is some feta cheese in a box, which is quite weird, but tasty um, and then some eggs over here so this is the start of the kitchen because the fridge is here and then over here you can see the actual kitchen area um, the cooker um, this is a water station obviously you can drink um, Egyptian water um, but you are best really with bottled water for hygiene reasons especially the chemicals they put in Egyptian water um, so that's the water station um, the sink I haven't really been doing any cooking actually we've been eating out a lot but in the future I will be cooking my eggs and breakfast things there in the mornings okay moving on to the bathroom um, you can see here my organic toothbrush which I got a new um, citrus one from Whole Foods which is quite nice actually um, what I got there from before was my organic well not organic but natural tipped um, toothbrush um, and I've been reading about cotton, cotton buds and how the wax in your ear, ear is there for a reason um, and you should only use those to get the water out so I've been trying to not use that many of those um, as you can see a nice little mirror here which I've cleaned but it still doesn't look clean uh, <laughs> and over here the bathroom and then the open plan shower which I just adore because you can just get as wet as you like and then it will just go down the little hole right now I don't want to spray, spray my face I won't lift the lid but I have no toilet paper and we have a little um, cleaning you do get used to it um, but obviously they do sell toilet paper here so one of my friends or should my English friends come around I will get that for them the guest room okay now in here we have two spare beds um, and within this room we have a nice little mirror again which I've cleaned but it doesn't look clean and um, it also has a fan in here um, and a wardrobe and a little door onto a sort of balcony but it's more leads to nowhere but it's nice to let a little bit of air into the room okay now from here we're gonna leave the spare room go through the living room and I'll show you the favourite and my best area down this little corridor there's obviously a flat here um, this is my room now no it's not the house of scary spies <laughs> um, it is um, Egyptian style I actually quite like it and this oh my god it is so soft you can tell it's kind of new um, and it's traditional in Egypt not because it's so hot not to have um, a duvet but they just have one of these and obviously you have your sheets I really enjoy sleeping on one of those and I've been sleeping the best ever for ages um, now this pillow I always forget how weird this is but it's like one continuous pillow which is really hard and it runs all the way along um, I think the idea of this is if you wanted eight children to all sleep in this bed and they all have one pillow then so I think it's made for that for practicality so this is my bed um, let's move over on to the cupboard okay now here is my vision board um, just what the house I want, the business I want, my bedroom, my car, my body, my face, my boyfriend and of course Phoebe in the centre of my life. You can download that by the way at jodymundy.com forward slash profile. Over here you have my Egyptian schedule. So the reason I'm here is to train um, and this is my current schedule. I've been making some little amendments already, changing the meditation I've been doing. You can download this at jodybun.com forward slash Egypt. Um, going inside the wardrobe, you have, <laughs> oh yeah, as you can see, I've really tidied this up ready for you. Um, you have my daytime clothes, evening clothes, um, and then the most important thing in Egypt, my galabea. Um, obviously nice to wear, um, not only sleeping, but sometimes out yeah. in the evening. My coat, I haven't had to use it, it's actually really warm, between 20 and 30 degrees the last three days, so I think that I'll be staying in there. 
There is air conditioning in my room, but obviously for health reasons, air conditioning really isn't good, so I've not been using that. Also, the lights are not normally on. I'm only putting them on because I'm filming, um, but normally it's nice. Um, we just use the sunshine. Over here, you have my bedside cabinet, which has my books on. Okay, the one that I'm reading at the moment again is The Secret. Louise Hay, How to Heal Your Body. Um, you Can Heal Your Life by Louise Hay and the Metabolic Typing Diet. And the book that's just fallen down here is Recreating Yourself, which I've already read um, and I'm actioning. Um, it's like an action book from the Conversations with God series um, by Neil Donald Walsh, which is excellent and I recommend. Okay, and then we have the How to Heal Your Life DVD, which I will be doing some affirmations through and again another mirror that's not clean okay <laughs> this is my reading chair which looks out under the sunshine um, for those of you who didn't see this is mini PC world by the way a couple of laptops here um, this is my new PC which oh my god it's a netbook and it's like really small and light and it's just adorable so that's quite um, useful since I've been here and then obviously the favorite place is the balcony Okay, this is my stretching and meditation area. I've been doing my zone exercises inside, um, but the heat here just hits you as soon as you come outside. Now, I haven't got an amazing view out here. There's a bit of a building site going on just over here, but as many of you have been to Hagada, it's all a bit of a building site, to be honest with you. Um, but you can see, um, let me show you down the street. I'll go upstairs in a moment and show you the sea, but the sea is just past those buildings, literally a five minute walk. And you can see down the street here, um, just a little walk down there to the town centre. Sheraton Road, gang, for those of you who know it, is literally just over there. Um, and everybody knows McDonald's. So if you know where McDonald's Sheraton Road is, that is just behind those buildings. And then the other way up the street, you go into more of a local area, um, whereas the other way is a tourist area. So I will leave you on the balcony um, and let's just pop upstairs and see the sea. Now come outside and we're going to go up the steps up to the roof balcony. As you can see, we are five floors up um, and there's a scary stairwell. Okay, we're now here on the next floor, the top of my building, and you can see the sea, and you can also see some of the islands around Hagada where they do a lot of the snorkeling. Okay, the it's a little bit like a building site up here, um, but as you can see, we're, we're quite close, just a five minute walk down the street. Um, at the moment, it is prayer time, and this is where you can hear the mosques and their um, speakers. Okay, we're just looking around up here really really nice nice and relaxed it's a shame i'm not up here actually on this floor um but i will be coming up here in a little while to sunbathe so it's goodbye from egypt um, and i look forward to seeing you soon